Hello, I'm Barry Payne and I'm head teacher of Parkside School. I've been here since 1997 and during that time there have been many, many changes. We currently cater for 147 complex needs pupils. The ethos of the school is based around the individual child. We work very hard to make it a friendly, hard-working but acceptable atmosphere. All of our children feel that they succeed. It's very, very important that we work very closely with our families to support our children. And in this school, our children are at the centre of everything we do. Now at Parkside School, I believe that reading is a skill for life. And it's one of the things that I've really promoted since I've been at Parkside. So English at Parkside has got, uh, covers all aspects of reading, writing and communication. I love working at Parkside because the pupils are fun, they're quite good learners themselves once we've got that approach, once they know it's okay to make a mistake or it's okay not to know because we're all learning together. And that's what's important to me, that we can encourage pupils to move on in their English, particularly when they feel that their skills are not as good as they should be. Hello, my name is Mrs Janet Wilkes and I am the Maths Coordinator at Parkside. Like mainstream, primary classes have maths in their own classes with their class teacher. And again, like mainstream, when the children get into year seven, um, quite a lot of them will move around for their lessons and so they come to maths with me or with a colleague. Unlike mainstream, our maths lessons are in much smaller groups. Our classes are between 10 and 12 children, so it's a much smaller group and we have a teacher and a teaching assistant. We can have much smaller groups to work in and do much more individual work. Working at Parkside School is about tailoring what you do for the needs of the child. There's no point where you say, oh, we do this here, so you have to do this. It's all about tailoring our lessons to meet the needs of all the children with all their complexities of need and their different personalities, trying to meet their needs and give them a fun time in all their lessons. I teach the middle and upper school pupils. Um, that all the pupils have at least one ICT lesson in here a week and the upper school pupils have two lessons and we do a variety of different topics. We cover word processing, graphics, we do quite a lot of animation work, we do um, spreadsheets and databases and we also do photography and film work. So I love teaching IT because the kids really enjoy it, it's something they get a lot of pleasure out of and you often find that with IT, they, they might struggle in other curriculum areas, but they come to IT and their skills are really good and they feel very confident. So it's a pleasure to watch that confidence come out. A lot of them, when they come to us, they haven't had the best experience in mainstream school maybe. When they come to us, we want them to feel secure, happy, valued, and that's the whole ethos of the school. Our science department is run very similar to a mainstream school, so we do biology, chemistry and physics, exactly as uh, you might expect from a secondary school. So some of our science is taught in a laboratory and some of our science is taught outside in our environmental area. If you walk into the science room, it is a laboratory, so you will expect to see um, gas taps, so we use Bunsen burners, we use chemicals, uh, all of those experiments you'd expect to do in a mainstream school, we do here as well. We do run an animal care course for some of the students, and uh, currently we have two guinea pigs, one's called Popeye, he has one eye, uh, and one is Tripod, who only has three legs, so um, they're part of our community now, and they're looked after by the pupils at the school. The pupils are actually responsible for cleaning them out, for looking after them and checking that they're healthy. That's right. Some of our pupils don't have pets at home and it's, they make a, a very special bond with the pets at school and that's very nice to see that it's, it's a very successful course that we run so we will hope to continue that into the future. All of the pupils who come through Parkside, it's fantastic to see the progress they make from when they first arrive to when they leave, so it does mean a lot. It's very important when they're younger to learn the basic skills of painting and using a brush and mixing colours. But as they get older, it's important to try and encourage them to be interested in particular things. And I'm always happy to let them follow another path. So if they've come up with a better idea than I've given them, 
I'm delighted for them to follow that as well. Um, and sometimes they surprise me with what they can do. And I think, especially at Parkside, art is a level playing field. Everyone can have a go at it. Because we're so child-centred, we're very much concentrating on what the children can do and encourage them to do more of that, not worrying about what they can't do. So we'll help them with the bits they can't do to help, you know, so that they're free to do the bits they can do. All the years cook are from year year three to year eight, and then they have they choose their options, and then we have option groups doing sort of more difficult things. With the little ones, what we te- we've been focusing on is fine motor skills, so lots of mixing and chopping and kneading and getting the hands dirty and that, and, and lots of tasting as well, get, introducing them to new and different foods. Although I think that's important um, that all the children can cook because if there's nothing more basic than being able to make yourself a drink and something to eat, whether it's from basic, a cold drink and a sandwich, to making a full meal. So we try and gear it to whatever level the children are at, so at least they can do something independently when they get home. It might be just washing up. If they can wash their cup and their plate up, you know, that, that's a big step forward. Well, my name is Mr Hallett and I'm in charge of designing technology. It's, it's designing, it's planning things and making them through different materials and, and different equipment, different saws and drills and the children have a great time learning how, how to use these, becoming familiar with them and they love having an end product, something that you know often works. The Parkside School to me means having the ability to work in a small group, get to know everybody well, have a very good relationship with, with the staff and in other schools you've got much bigger classes where some children unfortunately don't really get to interact with the teacher very much but here everyone's got you know, adequate time to talk to the teacher, get to know them and I think that's one of our big strengths. My name is Victoria Brunton Douglas, um, I'm the Humanities Coordinator. Well the children, um, we have to differentiate with the children because there, there are um, a lot of needs varying in, in degree from moderate learning to more severe learning difficulties and so those children are catered for by a differentiated approach in, in different ways. Parkside School to me is a place where all children can thrive in a caring environment where they get the help that they need, the one-to-one that they need and they can become much more confident in their daily lives. I don't think really music differs very much at Parkside to to any other mainstream school. You know, they learn the skills that they would learn on the keyboard, for example, and they learn uh, other instrumental skills. They learn how to read music and, and write written notation. So it's very similar. We do have a lot of fun in the subject. Uh, we make up lots of music, we do a lot of composing. The children get as much opportunity as we can give them to be on stage, to perform give most of them a microphone and uh, they love to be up there and perform. My name is Mrs Webster Lee and I'm the Multicultural Coordinator at Parkside School. I teach Spanish and RE um, and in those lessons I use an active learning approach which means that we use songs and games and sign along to help them to acquire the new language. This means that the children find the lessons very enjoyable. For Spanish, we're very lucky here at Parkside um, because I organise trips to Spain. What I've seen in my Spanish lessons is that every child can achieve and every child is able to have a conversation in Spanish. The Open Door is a part of the specialism at Parkside, which is communication and interaction. All the children in the school can come. We have groups that may be two children all the way through to eight and maybe even ten sometimes. In the open door building all the children at some time come to do some kind of work on their communication and interaction skills. As a part, as a whole school, what we really aim to do is not just to do the academic work but to have a a kind of an emotionally and socially independent child when they leave us and that's what the Open Door um, work is all about. It's just been a joy being at the school and I'm very grateful for them having me here because it's made me move on to new things, new subjects and without them I wouldn't really have done that without help. Yeah, so this is an amazing school to go to, I'm really grateful. I just 
don't want to say goodbye, really. Me either. I've been a head teacher here since 1997. I have to say I've enjoyed every minute of being here. I think it's the best job in the world. Where can you find a place where you can make such an impact on people's lives, knowing that when they leave you, they'll be ready to take on the challenges and all the things that be thrown at them in the adult world? Can you beat that? I don't think so.